Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We are Erso Junior and we are participating at RoboCup Asia Pacific 2022 In the category RoboCup Asia Pacific Coast Space Rescue Under 19 We are from Politeknik Elektronik Negeri Surabaya, Indonesia To meet the challenge, we will present about our team and strategy during the competition But before that, we want to introduce about our staff First, me, my name is Febrian Tirta Wicaksono. I am the team leader of Erso Junior. Then our strategy is Rayo Farhan. And the last, our programmer is Johan Restiawan. We have experience in the commenters where second place in contest robot sepak bola Indonesia Broda 2022 and the third place in Scan Fitik Challenge Robot Cup Middle Stage League 2022. Let's start at the executive summary of preliminary challenge. On the left side, we have our problem on, and and on the other side, we are the solution for the problem. First, our problem is to collect as many points as possible in six minutes. To solve the problem, robot credit is deposited in the nearest area, so we can save the time. The second problem is. Obstacle and trap which interference with the running of the robot. The solution uh, about the problem, our team is using obstacle avoidance algorithm and conditioning when avoiding the obstacle, so the robot will be able to pass the various obstacle. Next problem is occurrence of super object is affected by color loaded to make a robot get many super object, and we solve that we search for object with. Different color to get a super object and validate object with a color sensor to distinguish between super object and ordinary object. So the robot is most likely to get a super object, but the super object has a life value. And the last problem is object are located in a random position. To solve the problem, we positioning the robot to a certain point to get the object. So we make the robot go to the area. Where the area is have a lot of object. Okay, then is our result and conclusion. Our result: the robot complete mission with smoothly and efficiently, and get twenty seven ninety point in the primary challenge. And then the conclusion is the first complete mission using obstacle and the multiple algorithm avoid to avoid the obstacle. Then the second is robot successfully get and deposit object by using multiple algorithm and strategies. Okay, next, uh, like the the first problem and the first solution. If the lot object is full, the robot will go to get nearest deposit area. We have three step to make the robot can do it. The first step is get the position of x and y for its deposit area. Uh, the first step is simple. Absolutely, we must have the position of X and Y of the robot and the deposit area before we calculating to get the distance value. So we can next to the step two that calculating distance of robot to the position of deposit area using equivalent distance. Our team is using equivalent distance algorithm with the formula in the right side to get the. Value of the distance. After we get the value of the distance, we can go to the last step. We comparing distance from robot with all deposit area. In this case, our team is using if as statement condition to make the robot could go to the nearest deposit area. Okay, uh, I am Johan Roy. On this slide, I will explain about the use of. Ultrasonic as obstacle avoidance. Uh, ultrasonic sensor is a device that can measure the distance to an object by using sound waves. Uh, this robot has three ultrasonic sensor are located on the front, left, and right from the robot. Uh, robot works according to this sensor. Uh, we utilize ultrasonic sensor to avoid objects or obstacle from the first when front ultrasonic sensor detects something with a value less than 12 the robot will process the data again taking into account the ultrasonic value on the right and left from the robot 
uh, if the distance the object on the left side is greater from the distance of the object on the right side so the robot will turn right and if else the robot will turn left meanwhile when the front ultrasonic sensor has a value of more than 12 the next comparison is if the direct ultrasonic sensor has a value less than 15 the robot will turn left however if right ultrasonic sensor is not smaller than 15 uh, and left ultrasonic sensor is uh, smaller than 15 then the robot will turn right and if else that is done okay next slide uh for mapping robot movement we use a simple algorithm to move the robot to the target using a start line from the robot point to the destination point or vector we use this when the robot will uh when the robot will deposit objects or when looking for objects uh, or mapping. Then, after getting that factor, the robot will face to the destination point. Robot will go straight if error heading is zero. When, when heading to the destination point, we correlate the robot's as movement with the obstacle avoidance algorithm hello i'm roy uh, in this page i will explain uh, our strategy in order to get a large number of points we created a program where our robot is programmed to look for super plus games. so the robot only takes two types of the same object so that after the deposit super plus objects will appear at certain times we limit the number of objects loaded on the robots to increase the number of points obtained in addition we also created a safe um area before uh heading straight to the deposit area uh, uh this is uh done the to speed up the robot's path um, because with a safe point, it can avoid the robot's path from uh, obstacles. Next, this is my our game's play. Um, yes. Uh, first, the robot will look for two red color objects. After that, then the robots will look for two black colors objects. And at last, uh, robots will uh, search two colors, two objects of cyan colors. If loaded objects um, six, robots will go to the deposit area to depositing the objects. If the robots get two red objects, two giant objects, and two black objects, it will get super plus gums worst values in 180 points. Next. Why knowledge connect to the real world? After participating in the RoboCup Asia Pacific Coast Space Rescue under 19, we will also apply the algorithm used to avoid objects in our autonomous soccer robot system and some of our other robotics projects because in the real world robots required required to run well one of which which is uh, avoiding objects secondly not only that we will also implement a positioning or point to point control algorithm in our mobile robotics projects. Of course, with the help of Autometry to increase the precision of the robot's position. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm Roy from the Airsoft Junior teams. See you next time.